Hello guys, so for Practical Christianity today, we're going to talk about raising your kids in the admonition of the Lord. So raising your kids in the admonition of the Lord, or as the Bible also says, to teach them these things as you're going up, as you're laying down, as you're eating, and as everything that you're doing, right? It's saying that we as the adults teach children. Now, whether we do this purposefully, as the Bible directs, or indirectly, as we know children are mimics, they are learning from us. So we need to be careful about what we teach them. So our lives are the example that they're going to follow. Okay, In the Christian worldview, that means... That we should be teaching them that once you know once a woman has a baby she stays home the man's the breadwinner that you, you don't participate in debt or if you have to get in debt you're out of it immediately that kind of thing you're not here for the latest and greatest you're not supposed to be loving the things of the world which can come in any form but to love the things of god which are truth justice and love so this is what we should be teaching them, okay? Now, I see this played out very obviously <laughs> in these podcasts that I'm watching because they all talk about their youth and how their youth affected their adulthood, okay? So I'm going to start with Owen Benjamin because it's the one I can think of immediately. Owen Benjamin used to be pro-choice and now he is pro-life. Why? When he was younger, he never saw really a pregnant woman. He never had anything to do with pregnancy. He said that his mother ran this le leche li, and that's basically she taught people, she taught women how to breastfeed. So he saw a lot of babies, he saw sort of that sort of thing, but never really saw pregnancy until he was married and his wife became pregnant with their first child. And he said once he saw that, once he had that experience and he was taught through that, everything that happens to a woman when she becomes pregnant, he then said there's absolutely no way I can be pro-choice now. You look at that, that's a baby. That's another person growing inside a person. And now he's pro-life. He's not pro-choice anymore. And I thought that was very interesting because here he has the uh, growing up he doesn't he's not really involved with anything having to do with pregnancy and all that stuff and there are a lot of people in the Christian worldview or church or however you'd like to say it who say he shouldn't have been all right I don't agree with that I think our children should learn all the aspects of life that way they can understand truth okay so another one that I watch a lot is Joe Rogan, and Joe Rogan talks very often about his childhood and how it shaped him. Very early on, he was a fighter and everything, and his dad was, his dad, I'll just use the word proud because I don't know how else to use it, but basically he got attention because he didn't run away from a fight. And he remembers that from his childhood, and now he's this big MMA guy, right? He really enjoys it. He, he has made a life around it. His second father was a hippie who, you know, smoking the marijuana into thinking all of this stuff, um, into thinking, you know, different things rather than go to work and don't think about anything. He was more the thinker. And he made, that, that gentleman made Joe Rogan's mother very happy. And so he bonded with that man. That man also encouraged Joe to go into the more artistic side of himself. And so now you have a Joe Rogan that draws, you have a Joe Rogan that tells jokes, and now you also have a Joe Rogan that is wanting to learn and know more stuff. And all of that was supported by the second father that he had. Okay, so these are all childhood experiences that turned him into... I guess you could say, the man that he is today. So these are these are experiences that he accepted. 
And he said, okay, so I, what am I going to do with this? And he basically turned it into money for himself. He turned it into two different jobs, you could say. The next one, this next example that we as adults teach the kids, right? And that we should be teaching them. Dave Rubin has <clears throat> a series where he talks about the founding fathers and what they went through as children and things like that. Every single one of them start out with the young life of a founding father and all the things that that founding father went through and why they loved the idea of America, why they loved America and things like that was because their parents or their dad and more specifically in some of them got involved with the creation initially of the idea of America. So it showed them that it, this idea was important. It taught them the ideals that their parents had, right? So as Christian parents, it's very important that you teach the ideals of God to your children. All right. It has a profound effect on us as we go through life, what happens to us in our childhood. My childhood is another example. I had paranormal things happen to me. I had some abusive things happen to me. I've had several different types of friendships that have changed my view of what friendship is. I've had other experiences that I've talked about as far as like uh, for uh, Memorial Day, I talked about why it's so important and the gentleman that I heard in the wheelchair talking about his buddies dying and how he loves the flag and all, the, all of these things. All of these experiences helped shape the way I am today. The experiences I had initially in my life caused me to say no to Christianity. I was like, I don't want that. That's not where I'm going. I will believe in anything or nothing but that. All right. And so then I had some other experiences, some more conversations with people, and I went the other way. And, you know, one of those experiences was I tried to kill myself and God was there. So these things, these experiences, these things that you get taught through your childhood have an effect on your adulthood. That doesn't mean you can't overcome some of the negative things, but it does mean it has an effect. So this idea in the Bible that you as the adult teach the children and you do it all day long is very, very important. Not only is it just real, like it just happens. We as adults who have children just teach them because they are watching everything that you do. Okay. They're very good mimics. I'm babysitting a, I think he's 10 months old right now. I'm babysitting a 10 month old and he mimics what I do. And I'm not even his parent. <laughs> okay. Children are very good mimics. That's how we initially learn. So God says, if you're, God says, I made children this way. I made humanity this way. Teach them my ways. And in doing so, guys, we see that we create a world of freedom. America, whether these guys claim Jesus or not, they all claim the Bible. They all say the Bible is the best. They all say the Bible is what they, what they based their, uh, their life on. So in this way, we can see that just by following that, just by saying, okay, these kids are looking at you and they're learning what to, what to do in life, whether you like it or not, it's a constant, okay? So teach them God's ways and you will teach them freedom. Teach them God's ways and you will have a just society. Teach them God's ways and you will have a loving society. Teach them God's ways with yours kind of sprinkled in there? No, uh, you will not create good stuff that way. Teach them God's ways with the traditions of men in there? No, that's not good either. You need to teach them God's ways, the things that are in the Bible. And the things in the Bible are not hard, but we have to practice them every day, and especially in front of our kids. And so you can see the effect of this in all of these videos. And I'll have links at the bottom so that you can watch and see what I was talking about. But that's all I really wanted to say today, guys. This stuff, when I say this stuff, I mean the Bible, is in effect around you every day. To see it, all you must do is look. 
and that's all that's all I would I would encourage you today to start looking just take one verse and start looking for the reality of it just take one verse and see if you can see it in your day see talk to people watch some podcasts get some knowledge in you and uh, see if you can see it because I'm telling you right now I see it every day every day I see the effect of the Bible either on people or through people in people I see how the how the the outline that God gives us works every time okay so that's all I want to say today guys I hope you'll be blessed today and tomorrow tomorrow Sunday so go to church go see some of the church I should say <laughs> you know shake their hand pray for them whatever it is I hope it's a wonderful day guys I am going to try doing this more conversationally so that I can do it daily again and I am using a different thing to record so if it looks weird I'm sorry excuse me I'm breathing in too much I guess I keep burping okay so until Monday guys I'll have I do have something else I want to talk about just remember to go boldly today guys and do what's right follow the Bible get into the Bible and figure out maybe what it is you're supposed to do so that you can follow it and if you have any questions or you want to talk to me about anything feel free to comment if you haven't subscribed already and want to see what else I might be talking about go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you can see our next video alright guys be blessed remember to pray and read your Bible and I will be back Monday bye